S S S S K vibe maker. We got Manchester in the building. Masterminds here, man. Hey, love my bro. He's seeing good, yeah. Jeez, oh man, the year's looking good for you so far, man. You've had a you've had a great impact, man. How how are you feeling about the way that you've had the impact this year so far? Feeling good still, man. It's going good right now, man. To plan. Yeah, man. To plan, man. Well, you know what, man? I want to jump in and like give us a brief history into you know your your musical journey so far because I know you've been doing music a little bit. You've been on and off. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You've yeah, I've been on it for a while still. Like people that don't know me, I've been doing music for like eight years, bro. Mm. So, so like sixteen years old. Mm-hmm. So like from then, I quit like a bag of times. Mm. A lot of stuff's happened through them years. Yeah. But then, just like I gave it my last shot. After my bedroom died, still like, I thought, you know, like, I had to get him when we have plans to this yeah. music thing as well. So it's here right now. Mm. So I just gotta make it happen, man. You've been pretty honest about the on and off thing, but mm. I mean, like, what is something that has made you want to quit? Because, you know, there's a talent there yeah, and there's a demand. Like, it is, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like I was doing it for so long and it feels like, yeah. So when you're doing it, they're like, it's not even me, I'm not doubting myself, but the people right here, like, they doubt it. Like, I was listening to them, like, the people I thinking, I you're getting older now, bro. You need to, like, Think of what I'm saying, bro. Allow me, like, mm. let me do my thing. You get me, bro? And then, sure. obviously, imagine I quit. I thought, you know what? Why am I listening to these people for, bro? Like, mm. do you know what? Like, I appreciate the honesty yeah. because there's a lot of MCs that will never admit to the fact that they've listened to feedback and that's made them doubt themselves. No, nah, but like with me, I never doubted my music. It's just the fact I was thinking, I've been doing it for so long, bro. Mm. But then, for me, anyway, I always knew you never give up. Like, this was my thing. Like this is my sort like music was me from like as long as I know like mm. as long as I've been doing it it's crazy man because I could always spit bars from young like freestyle is my thing. So you come from a musical family as well, would you say? I don't know man. I'm the only musician in my family. <laughs> You're bro. the only musician. Yeah, no, but I mean not even necessarily like your parents um being musicians themselves. You might come from a family where there was a lot of music played constantly in the house. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. people grow up in a house where there's no music nah, played. Yeah, music was getting bumped to my house. Come yeah. on, I got all the sisters and that. They was always playing music, man. They always put me on the bangers still, man. What kind of music was getting played in your house, man? From long as I don't even know bangers, man. Like every time, like, like come on, man. Like, like, like hip hop, rap, like Afro beats, Bashman, all of that, man. Mm-hmm. And if you don't. The, the regular stuff, like the people, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, Straight up. So that's our thing. So you're from a place in Manchester called Rusham. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to be honest stuff. as well, like we're dealing with honesty today. I don't even know this place. I've been to Manchester many times, like DJ'd and, you know, friends and family out there and stuff. But I don't know this place, Rusham, man. Like, give me a brief into what it's like around there. So Rusham was the hood still, fam. Ghetto. Yeah, man, it's the hood still, bro. And that's where you've lived your yeah, whole life? Yeah, my whole life, yeah. Is it a hard place to, you know, yeah, make it out of? Live, yeah, for real, man. Yeah. Not many people make it out, man. Like, bro, like, if you hear about it, it's high. Like, you don't hear it. It's mad, like, when you hear people making out of Rush Home. Mm. don't hear that, bro. Is it anywhere near any of the grounds? Like, I, like, the city ground, like, Manchester the City ground? The city ground what? used to be literally in the same, like, in my area, like, M14. Mm-hmm. That's, like, f- like five-minute walk from my yard. M14? Yeah, that's where, like, my post goes, like, five minutes from my yard. What's the cultural mix around there like, then? Like it's multicultural. It's multicultural. Mm. Everyone gets along. There's not cultural divides or anything like no, that. Not like that. Straight. So what's the nearest station, man? If I was to go there, like if you're an outsider, yeah. is it a place that maybe you say don't come to? Nah, you're good, man. <laughs> you're good, bro. Man. You're good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's certain yeah. ends. You know, like I feel like I'm from Tottenham, in it, yeah. North London. It's calmed down a lot. There was a time when you say, listen, if you're an outsider, don't come to those ends, man. <laughs> so Rush Home's not like that anymore. Uh, uh, hey, what you saying? Not anymore. <laughs> get yourself a food get right there. Get yourself a food, right there. What's the food spot right there that you'd recommend, man? Bro, I like Somali food. You're kind of a life, man. Somali food only, yeah, really? Yeah, Paris and Hilly, bro. Cheese! Oh, bro. Tell them about it. I know about that, man. You gotta you know get wood that much. Trust me, man. Because that was a conversation I kind of wanted to talk to you about. You got mixed heritage as well, yeah, like, like Somali yeah. and, and yeah, Yemen, man, right? Welsh, though. And Welsh. Mm. I mean, how was that growing up, man? Because you know the cultural when you come from mixed heritage, it can be a landmine to get through, man. Like, where do you where do you find that you relate to the most? Your Yemen side, your Somali side, like your Welsh side. My well, Somali side, but me, I just try and get in touch with all my like, see, like mm-hmm. all my up oh, like. Uh, all my nationalities, I just try and get in touch with all that, man. Mm-hmm. Is your mum a Somalian, right? Yeah, my mum's like Yemen. Som- oh, like she's got, she got quite a Somali, you know, like she, she's got, it's mad, like, she, like she's got more Welsh, you know. Straight. So she's like, she's like half Welsh and like 
I, like Kwa Yemeni, like Kwa Somali, I think. Do you speak any of those other languages? Yeah, I can speak Somali still. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any plans to maybe put any of that in your music? I do put it in there, man. Straight up. hear a couple of words, man, yeah. Straight up. What, what's the language? What is the Somalian language called? I'm just calling it Somali. It's like, just Somalian. I'm speaking Somali, bro. Like, it's Straight Somali. up. New drip. Um, talk to me about this song, man. That was a man. That was coming, man. Mm. That was a banger when you type man. Yeah. It was like, that come about, how, what you, you want to know how that come about? Yeah. Well, obviously, like, it's three peoples, basically. One of my brethren's, like, it's been, like, cool with Mitch. They know each other up front. I'm like, he was fucking with my music. I was fucking with his music. And it was just natural just to make it happen as well. Like, we was both buzzing at the same time. Mm-hmm. It was the right move, like, for both of us, I think. Mm. People might describe your music as wavy. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, do you make your music a lot of the time is on a wave? Do you have nah, to yeah, be yeah, like, like on a wave or can you my, do it yeah, sober? I got my, nah, depends, but like, more like, I just do wave the more time. People might debate about whether you're a singer or a rapper even, and I always find it quite interesting speaking to the artist himself. I'm an artist, out. bro. You're an artist. <laughs> yeah, man. What does that mean from coming from your mouth, mastermind, being an artist? What does that mean? Yeah, man, like, I'm, just, like, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not just, I'm not a rapper or a singer, man, like, Mm-hmm. I can do it all, trust me, man. The melodious thing, man, it's like, at a time, it weren't cool. Mm-mm-mm. But you're pulling it off, the melodious thing, man. Was that always a thing for you, that you wanted to be melodious? Basically, I could do the melody stuff, but a while ago, like, I was on a... I started doing the rap thing first, because I like rapping. Like, mm-hmm. straight, raw rapping. Because in that time, that was the thing, so... But I could do the little wavy stuff. But, like, after I quit, like, I was doing some, like, girl tracks, some Afro sort of beats sort of stuff in, like, 2015. Then I slowed down for a bit. I dropped a tune, like... Last year, on Link Up TV, it was a remix to that barking track. Mm-hmm. I used this bit, so I've used that. And then, after that little time, yeah, I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to do the tunes that I like doing, like. And that's what I mean, wave time and all that. See, the tunes that I like doing, mm-hmm. like, I'm going to drop them. If people ain't fucking with it, I don't care if they're not fucking with it. Mm. As long as I like it, I like it, if you know what I'm saying. And that's how you got to be as an artist, time man. Thing, like, so you got to have thick skin, man. Yeah, man, you have to, man. Yeah, you said you've been doing this from 16, mm-hmm. straight out of school, mm-hmm. taking, you know, rapping seriously, in and out of the game. Mm-hmm. Was it always the first choice? Was academics ever, like, a thought? Did you ever, like, think about I was never good in school, man. Never good in no. school? Because being a mastermind, mm-hmm. I thought maybe being a deeper no, I'm a smart youth and that, yeah. But school was never for me, like, trust me, man, like, I don't know, man. Because we come from, like, teachers and students come from two different lives, man. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to deal with kids from the hood, man. Straight. I'm telling you, man. Just kick them out, man. <sighs> You get it well, bro. Mm. So, so the name Mastermind, but where did that originate from? Because that's not your everyday kind of no, name. No, man, I know, man. It's just <laughs> that there is a secret. So I can't even say it's that. It's a secret. Yeah, man. <laughs> was that always the name first? Yeah, it was first the name choice still, of yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. There was never going to be another name that you was no, going to be called by. Mastermind, that was the name. Straight up. I remember like um, trying to rap at one point and trying to do the melodious thing and realizing it's not easy. Mm. And there's a lot of artists that, you know, struggle to do the melodious thing. Mm. How long did it take for you to sort no, of... Straight away. Hey, you got like, it straight away, yeah? Bro, when I wait wave time, I bought the studio for like two hours. I just thought, yeah, I'm just going to go in there for two hours. This is when I'm coming back. To drop my juice, switch them lights up, put them headphones in. And then the madness happened, didn't and it? it came straight away like yeah, that? Yeah, like, I just like freestyling because I think it's more natural, man. Like, see, when you're writing, it's like you're, you're telling a story or writing a film or something. Like, bro, mm-hmm. I'm, spit, I'm trying to keep it as real as it is mm. so when I see it off the top I know I'm talking about shit that I've been through what people are going through and like life in general you know, like everything's real mm. authentic when you're writing it sometimes I feel like you're adding st- like people like it's like you're trying to make it it's weird man for me like because I used to write but I thought it's not even like I just rather do the freestyle thing so with the head top freestyle thing is it literally in the booth and you're just like going straight yeah. off like do you do you do the verse like one or two times no as soon as the hook comes in my head Mm-hmm. Like, I'll be thinking, I'll just be there. It'll just come, like, play the beat and I'll start rapping. It's my head to just come in, no writing. So, they put me in the booth, go in the studio, booth, lock the lights. Because I don't like no machine when I record. Mm-hmm. So, I lock the lights, <sighs> put the headphones in, then spray it out in it. Was yeah. there ever ever anyone you studied that you, like, sort of, you know, got that style from? Nah, from was like, <sighs> man, just dumb, like, man, me personally. I just dumb me because I thought, boy. That's when my bedroom past years are. Like, mm-hmm. I told you, like, boy, I need to get, I mean, need to make this happen ASAP, mm. bro. Like, because yeah. he was the one he was the inspiration. that wanted me to make it like fully, but he's the only one that knew that I, like, I can do this sort of thing. Like, I'll pop off this music thing. Mm-hmm. Like, the only true person that, like, said, yo, bro. What was his name, man? He was called Gully. Gully. Mm. 
was he was he doing music as well? Doing music, yeah. I've been my bro forever as well, man. Rest in peace, man. Oh, my bro, love. Straight up. Well, are you are you an artist that is very Team UK, or are you an artist that likes to keep yourself to yourself and not maybe collaborate or play the Team nah, UK game? Nah, it depends game? though. Like, obviously, I'm up for collaborating. That's obviously I fuck with UK a lot, but me, I'm on my own, like I'm on my own little way right now. Like, I'll collab with people. Why not? It's like me. I'm on my own little. I got my own little plan right now. Mm-hmm. Got my own little movement, man. Hungry and humble, man. Straight up. Yeah, man. Sounds good. You're one of eight children, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That must have been a battle <laughs> as a kid, man. Yeah. I mean, talk to me. Was it more like get along, gang, or was it more fights in the household? Better both, man. Come on, man. Brothers, is it? Yeah. Seriously, his brothers. Come on, man. Where Where were you in the order? Are you one of the youngest? Yeah, I'm like, ones? yeah, I'm the young. Basically, there's eight of us, so I'm the third youngest. So, do, do any of your siblings do music or anything like that? No, nah, one of my brothers, you know, believe it or not, he does radio stuff. He's, he's, he's doing his little radio stuff still. Straight up. I don't know what he does. I'm not, like, I don't really to, we've not really seen each other like that, but mm-hmm. he's doing his things still. All grew up in the same household together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up, man. Were there many Manchester artists that were, like, inspiring you before? Or, like, because there, there hasn't been a, a huge conveyor belt of Aye, know, rappers nah, coming before out of Manchester? Before I was doing music, I was running wild, so I wasn't really listening to YouTube, I'm like... Mm. I didn't have no folder that I'd be able to like, like, bro, I was just moving mad, so. You weren't listening I wasn't to really, I wasn't really, the only thing I was doing, the man will tell you, I'll be on a block playing beats. Mm-hmm. Am I lying? The only thing I'm playing is beats. I want to listen to like, I want to listen to myself rapping. So, the music is very much therapeutic for you. Mm-hmm. And the music has helped put you on a straight and narrow, would you say? Yeah, 100%. Like, if you weren't doing music, you'd be doing something way mm, different. Yeah, for real, yeah, 100%. Mm. So obviously, this has helped me a lot, this music thing. Yeah, straight up. Would you encourage maybe a lot more people from your ends to be doing music? Yeah, yeah, hundred. If you can do yeah. this music thing, I'm telling you, get in it, hundred percent. Yeah, you don't want to be out on the roads, bro. Mm. I think sometimes though, people bro. look at the music thing as something harder to get into than what it is. Like your your entry point into the game, making it from you know being an independent mm. artist to getting signed. How would you kind of explain that journey? Was it was it was it hard? No, it's hard because obviously, when you're coming from Manchester as well, like I was doing tunes and I'd be getting like four thousand views. And like, I got a, I got a track. I was deep in it. I tracked like seven years ago. So like six thousand views, bro. Come from Manchester, imagine now, like, and I'm getting like a million views in like fourteen days now, two weeks. Mm-hmm. The difference is mad. Cause all I like to say is never give up, man. Cause I, like, you just gotta put in the work. Anything you do, bro, you can't give up to you. Cause mm-hmm. any time it could be your like, it could be you. Trust me, man. Can you remember like sort of say from those six thousand views mm-hmm. to like the views increasing a lot, a lot of streams at the moment, yeah. a lot more views. Mm-hmm. When was the point that you felt like things started changing? It's mad, like, I don't know, man, like, I'm, like, it's mad because the craziest thing is one of my brothers here, here right now, he's in jail at the time of me, wave time. He would tell you, like, no cap, bro. When I made that tune, mm-hmm. I told my man, bro, when you're home, bro, no more roads, you know, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, no more roads, like, we're doing this music thing now, you know. Mm-hmm. He didn't believe me at the start. Come home. And then obviously, like, like things change. Things change, man. Cause he come home, like, a month after wave time, like, uh, a month and a half after wave time, wave time dropped. Mm-hmm. So he was, so he was home and everything started slow. Popping. Yeah, for real. Mm. And then obviously, he's seen that this music thing's real and he does music himself. So I'm trying to get him on this music thing now. Mm-hmm. Cause if I can do it, trust me, it's hard as well, man. You can do it, man. Just I don't think, yeah, I, I don't think it can be taken for granted. The freestyling thing, man. Mm-hmm. That is something that. Um, not a lot of artists can get with. Mm. How did you develop the freestyling? Basically, I was just like, I was like, I was homeless at the time, innit? So I was flying everywhere, like, in and out of cars, sitting out my sofa surfing everywhere, like, man, I'm not just like, where I've got no stable place to stay, so I'm always on the move, and these times I wasn't going to studio and whatnot. I wasn't writing, I didn't have time to write, so mm-hmm. what I used to do was, I'm in the car, I was sitting, I play beats, I didn't have a phone. Mm-hmm. Start vibes in, like, start rapping, and mm-hmm. then from then I'm clocking that. Like, bro, why do I need to write for? I sound better like this. It's mad, like, mm-hmm. it's, it's crazy, man. There's some struggles there, man. The homeless thing you just nah, touched come on, man. man. Hey, the struggles make you or break you, bro. Of course, man. Trust me, man. Nah, definitely. I mean, but without you know getting too intrusive into it, man. If you could just share with like what what led to you being homeless, man. My madness is the bear shit, man. Hey, man, even that, man. I just got kicked out of my yard. Bear shit, man. Just, Mm-hmm. Just you have peak it still. And you know, how did how did you make it back from that? Because that could be uh, a hole that you find yourself in and you can't get out of, man. 
stuff like God cheated. Mm. Trust me, bro, man. Straight up. Mm. That's a lot, though, man, to get back from that, man. That's major props. Mm. And being here now, signed to a label, everyone sort of taking note of you, paying attention to you, no, you know, mentioning on, your name, playing no. your music and stuff. That's a comeback, man. No, come on, come on, man. Straight up. What's some of your ambitions as an artist? Just keep going. I don't know, man. To just keep getting better and keep improving. Like, I want to keep being bigger and better than I am. Mm -hmm. Every time. Like, every time I drop something, it has to be better. I have to, like, I have to be better. Like, there's no, like, the only way is up right now, like, no coming down ain't stopping, man. That's why I say, hungry and humble. That's my slogan, because I'm hungry now, because when you're at the bottom, fam, you're hungry. Mm -hmm. So you got to get it. So, like, where I was putting in the work, but and when, you, when, when, like, now the music's going all right, got to stay humble because as soon as you people get it they get gassed mm -hmm. they lose it they lose their head fam why because there was gas so you just got to stay humble man mm -hmm. and trust me man if you're humble with it it take you far it'll take you far because bro your, the, head. the sound that you've got like it, it makes me think that you've got a lot of ambitions to do international things mm -hmm. and maybe go to America mm -hmm. is that something that's at the forefront yeah you know, man taking it to America I'm not trying to be no small time I'm trying to go <laughs> like, I'm global man yeah mm -hmm. interesting man because not, not a lot of a lot of artists want to keep it very local no nah, man I do this is like this is my life like bro like this is me like music this is my thing so where bro mm -hmm. I treat this as my like, this is work and only I'm gonna get me where I want to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, bro. Straight up. I'm trying to go global, man. Wave time too. You got Nave Smalls and mm -hmm. you got Chip mm -hmm. on that. How did you connect with those and get them lot on Wave Time too? I uh, met basically. I met um, I met Nave a while ago, and it's like a long time, like a while ago still. And then obviously, we look, when when's it again? We linked up at a show. I come out at a show, and then from then. Obviously, the link up was st like strong. Come on, these my guys though, and then I linked Chip in IP for. But Chip was already fucking with the tune. Mm -hmm. When we linked up, it was like he was fucking with it heavy. So from then we were speaking about the remix, whatnot, mm -hmm. and then it happened, man. So give us a definitive explanation of what wave time is, man. Just in case you know someone's mistaken what it is. So wave time, yeah. It's a track where you need to take in every single word. A lot of people they like the track. Some people don't even know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but for me, take it in and you'll know exactly like. Is that part of the mystery as well? Because, you know, some people might compare you slightly. I don't know if you appreciate this um, this comparison, but people might say there's elements of you that are similar to Young Fug. And like when it comes mm. to Young Fug, you have to decipher what you're saying because mm -hmm. there's like the auto tune there's the melodious stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you might do on purpose? Now, but with me, before that, now, like when I did Wave Time, I could actually hear every single word that I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But I hear what you're saying because even like someone will be like, yo, bro, you need to do that again. I think cause I can't hear you, but I'm saying, bro, I can actually hear every word. Mm -hmm. It's mad like, that's why if I can hear it and I like it, I just say, leave it like that. Mm -hmm. And then from then I say, people can, that is mad. Is there much of a, a side of you that wants to make sure people know that you're British and preserving the Britishness or do you not care about that? No, come on, man. They got to know from England or Manchester. They got to know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, some artists don't care. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They nah, don't care. Gotta know I'm a UK artist. So let people know that. The future's onwards and upwards for you, man. It's mm -hmm. definitely looking bro. brighter. S -S 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 SK Vibe Maker.